Guys, we're getting ready to get something to eat because we are hungry. We are very hungry, so we're trying to find something to eat. Okay, y'all, and this was our second day in the island of San Andres, Colombia, and I was very hungry. I was starving because I was drinking the night before and I was getting ready or we were getting ready to get something to eat like a snack or something like any street food or something so i asked around and they told me like there is some good street food around here and we were on the way so here we got you know it's like had like potatoes empanadas you know it's kind of like colombian food i was just ready to eat something you know here i was just smashing that because i'm telling you i was hungry hungry super hungry and I was smashing my arepa and getting ready to start my day because we were supposed to drive around the island and visit few beaches. Ready to go outside again. So we were already in the road and we were heading to the downtown of San Andres because they have few beaches over there also, you know. We just got into the downtown of San Andres, you know, like the downtown isn't really big. But you know, like, this is where it's located, one of the most popular beach in San Andres, which is named Sprite Bay. So, you know, like, um, locals been saying like this is one of the nicest beach, but you know, like, I don't feel like there is an ugly beach in San Andres. Majority of the beaches here, they are very nice, so I didn't feel like, you know, like, they're ugly or something, you know, all of them, they have something magic, you know, let me show you all, let me show you this, so you guys could see what I'm talking about, and that I'm speaking facts, look, like, this is like, I, f I was feeling like, oh, you know, this probably going to be Colombia, but yeah, you know, this is still part of Colombia, part of the Caribbean of Colombia, and this is amazing, yo. You have to come here for real, for real. I'm telling you, like, hey, y'all need to check out this hiding gem because you have a great and amazing time over here. I can guarantee you this island won't disappoint you if you know how to have fun, you know. This would be the place for you. So we are outside guys here in San Andres, Colombia, seeing something different. You know, like I always, you know, show you like news, nightlife, stuff like that. But I'm in vacation and I decided to show you, you know, this hiding gem in Colombia. So let's do this. So we're here in a Sprat Bay today. So this is one of the most popular beaches in San Andres. It's very nice, you know, the water is clear. Everywhere you take a look, it's clear. You know, this also is known like the uh seven color sea in colombia so let's see what this is so if you want to relax you know have a good time you know this is the beach you know one of the beaches for you to call because it's not like a lot of people you know it's like uh they told me this is one of the oldest beach in the island i don't know how old it is but they, that's what they told me so you know it's not like a lot of people like uh, it's, it's, it's very relaxed you know what i mean so let me show you i see like some things like you know like dirty things at the beach but I don't think like, you know, it's, it can affect something, you know what I mean? Because the water is so nice, it's so, it's very fabulous, you know, just let me show you this. Hey y'all, all I can say about San Andres is a beautiful, nice and amazing thing because San Andres for real is a paradise very unknown and you can come and have a great and amazing and relaxing time for real, it won't disappoint you. Look at how clear is this water. One of the most great and amazing things that I did in this video is like I had the opportunities to talk with a lot of locals from San Andres, born and raised in San Andres, known as a Raizal. Raizal are the ones that, you know, they speak Creole, they got their own language, they speak Spanish, Creole, English, you know. And I feel glad that I did it because that was all about, you know, culture, so you guys can know about this hiding and amazing gem in Colombia. So you guys can feel like, you know, like besides Cartagena, Medellin, Santa Marta, you guys can do something old in Colombia and have a great and amazing time for real. I was feeling like I was in another country, but I was still was in my country, thank God, you know, and Colombian born and raised and like, it's a paradise for real, for real. And you know, many like this in Colombia. 
So one thing about San Andres is like, y'all you know I'm from Cartagena, you know, born and raised in Cartagena. And one thing that I see here is like the vendors, they are no like aggressive like in Cartagena, you know. Once we got into the beach, so the vendor, you know, he was just chilling, you know, like we're basically asking like, hey, you know, what kind of service do you offer here at the beach? Because like, like I say, you know, like in CTG, like, you know, like you just like, the vendors, they, they don't even let you just like get into the beach. They, go there, you know, harassing you, trying to offer you, you know, almost everything. Well, at least in this beach that we are now, so this one is very relaxing. So, we just go over a little bit. Now this is fucking clear for real. Like I said, you know, there is a like, little bit like a, it's like, look like it's, I don't know where it is, but it's kind of dory a little bit, so people can feel out, you know, I, I won't jump in in the water, but it's actually very nice. It feels really, really good. And, you know, it's like very warm. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, I know you're tired of me talking, but, you know, we're going to say, we're going to say now, you know, with a few interviews that I did to the locals because a lot of them, they didn't want to do it. So I feel like, you know, oh, I don't have to force them, you know what I mean? So there we go with the first person. Time to interact with locals. So we are here with our friend, She's from San Andres, born and raised in, in San Andres, Colombia, and she's known as I Raisal, right? Yep. That's how people like the people That's from here they they, they saying Raisal. Okay, so can you tell us, you know, about your language? Uh, you know, like how you guys create that language? Or something? No. Well, we don't create it. It's just something that God put in us. Okay, from that's the a sign. Beginning set. of the creation. Okay. It was a sign and design for us to be a part of different um, secular people from, as you all can know, this, the island is just a dark, a little dark. Okay, okay, perfect. Um, a small okay, island. So it's, yeah. Really, it's not known worldwide. Yeah, a lot of people just, don't know about San Andres. San Andres. Yeah, you just know. Yeah. But it, even Colombian people they don't know about San Andres. I travel a lot to Colombia, to Nela, uh -huh. and <laughs> they don't even know that people live here that talk a different language that is not. Yeah, I didn't even know that, you know. So yeah, you know, even like me, you know, I'm from Cartagena and I don't know, like, you know, I didn't know before, like, you know, that they speak English in San Andres and they got their own Creole, you know, all of that. I didn't know about that, you know, till I just said, like, reading about San Andres, you know, but it's good to know because sometimes, you know, like, you got to know everything about your food too, you know, your country, all of that, because a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people don't know. So, um, do you like the island? Do you like San Andres? Of course. Yeah. The question, boy. <laughs> <laughs> what's 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 like one of the best things that San Andre has for you? What do you think it is? The best. The people. Yeah. The people. People are good people best. in San Andres. The best best you can meet on when you come to San Andres is to have that encounter with racial people. Oh really? Oh, that's the good. That's good. Okay. Particularly with the island, because we are people that. Need we are warm, we are nice. I'm not, no credit for myself. I'll trust in Jesus. But that, that's who we are. In San Andres? Well, Raisa. Raisa, because you know, there is a lot of people, a specify, yeah, too. Because there is a lot of people in San Andres that they know from here, they emigrate here. Yeah, yeah they don't you. even speak Creole. Thank you. Yeah. So, you, for example, know, with, um, just with this, I was here, you don't know me, I don't know you, I look at that. I just say, hey, you. So yeah, true. Who, 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 who made it? Um, yeah, you, you, you did it. Uh, yeah, you did it, you know, you feel that's cool. Yeah, you yeah, were trying we to are, make me feel welcome. We are uh, people okay. that have that hospitality. Yeah, true. You know? Yeah. That's we. That okay. Anywhere we go in the world, we. So when people come, the first thing they do, they go, they're from there, no, they find the way. The, Maybe the beach. That's why they say the beach has seven colors. Yeah, true. Yeah. There's a lot of colors in the beach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then no. Pruelo. Gracias. Then no. Pruelo, pruelo. Y me dice. Yo sé que está bien. 
So she's having a drink now, you know. I, I, I was like, you know, we, we do it like uh, the interview, so you know you gotta. Yeah. You can get, you can get out. Yeah. You got some. My thing is, grandfather, my second name, my next original Robinson. Robinson. A D. Best to the best in dance. In dance, okay, okay, <laughs> grandfather. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see <laughs> With our brother here. Yeah, man. I'm from here, from the, from the island of San Andres, from the sea, I'm the seven colors. Colors. My name is Abelardo, but everybody know, know me as everything good. Everything good? This is a positive place, a positive beach. We have beautiful sun, beautiful water, beautiful sea. And I feel like we have the prettiest and beautiful sea and beach in the world. In the world? Okay. This place is global for everyone in the island of San Andres from Colombia and San Andres from everywhere at the world we want you to meet in this beautiful island of San Andres. So the brother Avalado right when I was doing the interview for him, some clients came in and decided to purchase some drinks. So I was like, brother, let me just get into the water because at the end of the day, you are working and you know i respect that you know i know i'm not the only client for you but i was ready to be back i was ready to be back with the interview and here we go so are you guys considered colombians or well you know we have to consider colombian because we see all the time under the flags of colombia and i prefer to be colombian and to be nicaragua so you rather to be colombian i prefer to be colombian because you be to nicaragua and i, I feel i feel like you don't say in every week we is a caribbean so our language is different, and we use it from Cartagena, from Medellin. But since we under the flags of Colombia, so I prefer still here. I don't want to be nothing with Nicaragua. So Colombians, Colombia provide you more things than Nicaragua. Colombia is who provide practically everything for we. Everything? Oh really? Service. Oh, that's cool. So because so, a lot of people they consider the same like Nicaraguans. No, Nicaragua is maybe can be nearer to me. Okay. You know, Nicaragua are the time fighting for this island. But if we went with Nicaragua, it's just like we went to Venezuela. What Venezuela have right now? Nothing. nothing. So we want to stay with nothing. True. So we have little things, so better we stay with that little thing. Yeah, we stay with Colombia, so we just stay with Colombia. Yeah, true. If somebody else come better than Colombia, it will be something different. It will be something different, but Nicaragua has nothing it to offer. Nothing to offer. Yeah, true. So um, what's, what's your name, brother? Frank. Yeah, Frank, you're from San Andres too? Yes, sir. Okay, you work at the beach? No. Oh. Oh, okay. What do you do for a living? What does he do for a living? He do a English class. And oh, English class? Yeah. So can you teach me Creole if you want yeah, to? Yeah, she can teach him that. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Come, come, yeah. come yeah. here. Come here. He got a, he got a, a friend right here. He also is a native, you know, from ah. San Andres. It's known as uh, Raisal. So, you know, can you tell us something in Creole? Welcome to San Andres, you know, all of that. Well, the Creole and the English have a little um, difference that you can say. Um, we you speak louder a little bit? We have, we have yes, some words that we take away. Oh, really? Some example, words? Okay. In English, you, you, you say, um, this this is my house. Uh -huh. We say in, in Korean, this is my house. This is my house. Okay, so perfect. We make it more, 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 like stick the words together. Oh, it's, okay, perfect. So what about, what about, um, when you say, uh, how you say like what's up? What's up? What's up in um in Creole? Have several ways. Some some people say how you day. How you day? How you day? Yeah, I was learning some like how you day. Are they good and you? You know, are they good and you? The I'm good and you. You know, yeah, that's really good. That's really good. You want a beer? I pay for. You good? No room? Okay, okay. Well, I yeah, get get a beer. Aguila. Aguila. I pay for cola. Cool? Okay, for, okay, for. Hey guys, and like I already said before, one of the most amazing and great things to do in San Andres is driving. We were already in the road and ready to discover a small place and to show y'all. So we were driving to the um deep deep in the island. I don't even know where we were going. I was drunk. The only thing I remember is I was in a car. That's it, because I was very drunk. So I remember this also, you know, like <laughs> I was sorry, I was funny, you know, I remember a few parts, but like I said, you know, that was my idea. I'm the kind of traveler that I don't like to stalk in the tourist area. I want to see the reality and I want to show you my experience and I want to show you 
my reality about this amazing and beautiful place for real. Hey, and where we were driving, we decided to go to stop in this, I think it's a hood, I don't know. But you know, like the locals, they were looking at us like, who the hell are those people? Because we got into the street and it seems like it is no, it's only way to get in. It's only one way, one way to get in, one way to get out. So, you know, I was just like, try to record more videos, you know, look at amazing views, you know, all of that. So this is considered like, kind of like, you know, local hood in San Andres. But while we were doing this, I got hungry and we were trying to find something to eat because honestly, like speaking fast and saying the truth, I wasn't crazy about the food in the island, you know, I got more stuck. Food with the restaurants in the island, you know, I got more stuck like with the local food, all of that, but like I said, you know, with the food in the restaurant, like not really, and we found this, hey, you won't believe this, but this is the most amazing food that we ate in the island, this is Keystone Jerk Spot. And it's owned by Right South. The owner is a Right South guy, and you know, born and raised in San Andres. And you know, over here in the restaurant, jerk chicken and cheap jerk burgers. You have um, roast con, roast con, roast con, fire pan. Long and sorry, sure. Hey, long and sorry, sure. We were already in the backyard, you know, all of that. So, you know, waiting for the chicken. They said the chicken was gonna. So how we knew like the chicken was gonna take so long so we decided to keep riding around the island and you know like just away for the chicken because it doesn't make a sense to be waiting over there but please please if one day you come into San Andres don't forget to hit them up they got one of the most amazing this is one of the most amazing jerk chicken I have ever ate on my life without being in Jamaica. I'm talking about, you know, the chicken jerk that I've been eating. It was good, good, and the price was the best thing. We paid 30 pesos per plate. It was amazing, the best 30 pesos I ever paid for food. It was a really good and amazing price, you know what I mean? And especially if everything in the island is expensive. So we found like a hiding gen. It's located in the hood, named in San Luis, but you know, the owner is very popular over there. So they, a lot of people know him. So it's like, you're gonna be okay. They also do deliveries and all of that. You know, I was drunk over here. I was very drunk, fellas. Trust me, I was drunk, I was drunk. You know, I was craving my food because like, was kind of like the only food that I had since that arepas that I showed you that I was eating in the morning. And I was just ready to say goodbye and get ready for the next episode that is coming soon.